Hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Lorraine Trollinger, and I'm the proud principal of Fairfax High School. And I'd like to say welcome, class of 2024. We are happy that you're going to be part of the Fairfax family. Go Lions! Clase de 2024. Bienvenidos a Fairfax. Estamos muy encantados de tenerlos. 12-year-old Robin, Fairfax High School에 오신 것을 진심으로 환영합니다. 우리와 함께 해주신 여러분께 깊은 감사를 드립니다. Class of 2024, Fairfax 매 아까 수학해. 아까 이한 데키 함에 보아 크시우이. Class 2024, Selamat datang di Fairfax. Kami senang kamu ada di sini. Yola Tsha Tipen, what up Fairfax and Convert and I'm a Dutcher. Ingat selamat ada Dutcher, but I'm just blown up. Klasa ng 2024, manigayang po itating sa Fairfax. Natutuwa kami na kasama niyo kami. enter the classroom always make sure to put your phone away and make sure that it is turned off or silent also always make sure to have any other electronic devices like headphones put it into your pockets or in your backpacks <laughs> if a teacher uh, asks you to take out your any electronic devices then you may you are allowed to take your phones out but it will only be allowed for class purposes and only to do work that is related to school. What if I have an emergency and need to use my cell phone? If you have an emergency, then you should always tell the teacher, in this case me, and I'll see if I will allow you to use it. If you have an emergency, you always need to tell the teacher before you use it, and the teacher will determine whether they will allow you or not. Remember class to isolate the variable and get Y on one side, like this. I'm watching my friend Snapchat. Oh. Wow, she really did that? The friend Snapchat, the friend and the volume interrupts the teacher showing the class how to solve an algebraic equation on the whiteboard. The student's volume on the phone catches everyone's attention and no one is paying attention to the teacher. Please put your phone away silenced and with the ringer and volume off. Remember class to keep your phone off and kept in your backpack always. Class has wasted five minutes of class time and now people are going to barely pass their upcoming quiz on algebraic equations at the end of the week because they missed the part where the teacher said you must isolate the variable on one side of the equation. So today we'll be working in, we'll be doing some classwork on our worksheets that I passed out. Please make sure that you write your first and last name on the top right hand corner. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Mr. M, may I use the restroom please? Yes, uh, whenever you, you, you need to use the restroom, always make sure that it's 15 minutes after the beginning bell and before 15 minutes before the end bell of the classroom always make sure that you let the teacher give instructions first so you don't miss on that on important instructions and always make sure that you don't take long in the restroom because your classmates might want to use the restroom as well good morning students you can only use the restroom after the first 15 minutes of class and before the last 15 minutes of class. Can I use the restroom? The student asked this after seven minutes of class when they had lunch for 30 minutes before class started and could have gone at that time. 
Since the teacher already instructed the class about this bathroom rule, it is effective and applies to all students. But the student does not want to wait and they argue with the teacher going over the class warm-up about rhetorical devices in English class. The whole class cannot hear the teacher talking since the student is interrupting and wants to use the restroom. Okay, you can go ahead and I'm letting you because I want class to be a learning environment for everyone. The students see how since one person broke the bathroom rule, everyone else should be allowed to use the restroom before the first 15 minutes of class and the last 15 minutes of class. Today class will be working in groups of twos and we'll be doing a 3D animal cell. Can we work with our friends? You may work with your friends, but when you work in groups, it's always recommended that you work with either your partners or friends that are willing to help and are willing to work as a group so that you guys can actually get work done. But what if everyone in the group has different ideas? Uh, when you work in groups, that's the basic of we work. Everyone's gonna have different ideas and different ways of doing the work, which is what group work, uh, which is the benefits of working in groups, is that everyone will bring different ideas to the table. In that case, you need to hear everyone else, everyone who has a different idea, you need to hear them and let them bring their ideas to the table. And then you have to decide whether you wanna take on whichever path you're gonna take as a team. And whenever you also work in groups, you have to make sure that either everyone is doing the same amount of work or that everyone is working together and contributing the same amount of work so that everyone gets to be part of the group. If anyone needs help in your group and you already divided the part, uh, it's good when you help them because it will bring more communication in the group and it will make all your work better. Good morning class. Today you will have time to edit each other's essays during class with the four people in your group. There are four people in your group and I want you all to edit your essays during class time right now. In the group of four students, one of them didn't write their essay and had no work to provide with feedback. Another student was too busy talking about buying shoes after school with another person from the group and didn't get any work done. The other student had no work to correct so they ended correcting their own work and were frustrated. I hope you guys took the time to edit your essays last night and class yesterday. I'm going to pass out your final grade and draft on today. And I got a B. This is going to drop my grade average. Okay, everyone, as you may or may not know, today I'll be discussing your upcoming project. Please pair up in groups of three and no more. I'll be passing out papers with further instructions. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please refer them to me and I'll resolve it as soon as possible. Teacher, may I please use the restroom? Absolutely, just take the hall pass and make sure to be quick. Once you are done using the restroom, make sure to bring back the hall pass so I could explain your further assignment. Okay, thank you. No problem. Today we're going to be uh, working in groups. I hope everyone did their homework from yesterday. Yo, we'll this teacher is mad boring. Not like we're paying him to read. Excuse me? I mean, this class makes no sense.
Okay, everyone, please be in your seats. I will begin taking attendance shortly. Okay, great. Seems like everybody's in their seats. Thank you, everyone. I will now be taking attendance. Hey, do you want your stupid pencil? Andrew, please stay in your seat. Good morning, Mr. V. How are you doing today? I feel great. How are you today? I'm also feeling well. I just had a question. Yeah, sure. What's your question? Well, it seems like next Wednesday I have a doctor's appointment and I'm not able to make it back on the same day before school ends. Is it okay if I know what we will be doing and get the assignment to make up for it? Absolutely. Thank you for telling me ahead. I appreciate it. I will let me explain the assignment for you since you're going to be out next week so you do not fall behind. Thank you. No problem. Okay, guys, make sure you turn in your essays that I assigned to you last week by tomorrow at the end of class. It needs to be in the format that I have communicated with all of you in the paper and make sure to bring it in printed, not handwritten, but printed from a computer with a physical copy and turn it in to me by tomorrow at the end of class. See you all tomorrow. Um, Mr. V, may I print my essay in your classroom in the morning tomorrow? My printer isn't working at home and I'll need to turn it in by then. Yeah, um, you know what? Can you email it to me by any chance? It's a little more better. It's a little more better for me so that I can email it for me because usually I don't come in in the morning at school. I come right on the dot to the classroom so that you know you don't have to print it without a hassle and you make sure you get the turn in the assignment for me. Absolutely. I'll do that. Thank you for understanding, mister. No problem. Thank you for communicating it with me. Excuse me, but you need to respect me and your, and your peers. Would you want your grandmother to hear you speaking like that? My grandma is dead. Unless you want to bring her back, I don't care. Angie, I'm politely asking you to behave and be more cooperative. If you keep acting this way, I'm going to have to ask you to leave my class. Now, class, let's get into our assigned group, into our groups. Remember that we'll be working in these groups for the next week. Mr. V, would it be better to teach the lesson in a more packed time than making it longer? I feel like maybe this lesson is going a little too slow. Well, you know, by the way that I'm teaching it, it's a little more efficient towards spreading out the information and the lesson as a whole, as you don't want to rush the lesson to the point where students do not understand it and they don't understand the information as a whole which is why spread out the information and don't make it too rushed so that the students have the ability to understand the information and the topic as a whole. Does that make sense? Wow, I never thought of it that way. Thank you for explaining that to me. No problem. This is gonna be one hell of a boring ride. I'd rather work with rats because they wouldn't be ashamed of the trash they're bringing into the group. No offense. I think that if we separate the work and do some of it at all our homes, then it would be easier to compile it together, don't you guys think? Then with our analysis and the drawings, we can put it all together and talk about how inspiring the book's message was. Sounds good, guys? Well, not to be rude, but your ideas kind of literally suck. If you want it to be done a certain way, why don't you do the entire thing yourself? 
if it were up to me, I think I'd come up with so many better ideas that you guys wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Um, I think that you could help us out by doing some of the work. Bring as many ideas as you want. You know what? I think you're being sarcastic about this whole thing. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to do so much better without you guys. Anywho, text me when you guys are done so I can write my name on the stupid thing. I hate it here. Coming freshmen. Before a segment on the on-site expectation orientation begins, I wanted to go over a few things. First, the on-site expectation team covers all corners of the campus except for in the classroom. That's a separate group. Next, each of our members are in charge of a specific area. Let me introduce them. Sirisky and Hannah are in charge of the hallways, Emma's in charge of the cafeteria, Janet is in charge of the bleachers and a bit of off-campus, and yours truly, tech the bathrooms. Each of us will be going over core details in animated skits and dialogue, but please don't get your hopes up. We are not artists. Anyways, congratulations for getting past middle school, and welcome to the next level of pain. Party sweep. Yes, totally made it. Where's your slip? What slip? The slip that you should have received at the tardy sweep stations? They're located at the front entrance doors and the upper quad. You should have received one from one of those areas. What? I was totally on time though. Why does this situation feel familiar? I remember! This person was in my virtual Zoom meeting last semester, and for everyone's convenience, this guy would come in at the most perfect timing, usually when the teacher is talking about something important like grades or assignments. And FYI, I'm being sarcastic. Anyways, just go back and get that slip like you're literally wasting all of our time. Is it so hard to just get a slip? It's on the way here anyways, like that's so annoying. Hallway passes. Oh god, is that person walking around without a hallway pass? Um, excuse me, where's your hallway pass? Uh, why? You can't be walking around the halls without a hallway pass. Okay, well, causing a scene in the middle of the hallway. If you gotta go, then you can go. Just take the hallway pass. It's not that hard. Seriously, that's so annoying. Large gatherings can be a bit of a mess sometimes because of how others behave and others can be by experience. We can't control what people do, so I am here to help you see other people's point of view that will help you through some situations that you may run into. Some people wanting to pick fights with you by calling you names or throwing stuff at you. Hey Rena, you got food? Give me your food now. No, sorry, but I know someone who sells all the good stuff, like extra flame hots. Alright, let's talk after class. Bye, I'm going back to my desk. Okay, so you're not going will take my money or beat me up for not having anything. Okay, so you're not going to take my money or beat me up for not having anything? Of course not. You helped me find a vendor. Hi, today I will be talking about cafeteria etiquette. It's not much to talk about, so I won't take up a lot of your time. First off, please do not throw your food on the ground. There are trash cans everywhere, sometimes even five feet away from you. No one wants to eat in a place that's surrounded by trash, so please throw it away. Also, please do not throw your food or other items. I cannot tell you how many times I have been hit on the head by something someone threw in the cafeteria. Fights. Stop fighting when I eat, please. I'll be halfway into my tater tot and I'll see what happened. No one wants to see that and you're not cool. You're just being a nuisance. I know, I sound old. But after three years, you'll be tired of them too. Mm. Water balloons. Don't bring them. Don't plan to have a water balloon fight here because everyone gets punished for it when it happens. Last thing is just something personal to me. We have a student store, please do not crowd around it. I will be going to get snacks now. I don't know if the 10 people at the store are in line or not. I just want to be in and out. That's it for me. I hope you have an amazing four years here and actually listen to the words I say. Thank you. Did you know? 
three out of five times I go to use a restroom, someone didn't flush the toilet! <laughs> Bathroom etiquette. You go in, you go out, you do your business, and you're done. But some fools don't want to do that! I know, I know, sometimes you want to make sure you look nice, make sure toilet paper's not sticking out where it's supposed to, but you don't need to have a full-blown conversation in the middle of the bathroom. And vape. Seriously, bro? Not only are you being annoying, but everyone else is in your little bubble of gross. Bro, you're not cool, you just smell bad. And it's basically illegal. No one wants your stinky bread clotting up where I take my time to empty my bowels. And after you're done doing your thing, clean up after yourself. Ladies, after you move the trash can to look in the full body mirror, put it back. Oh yeah, and entry doors. Believe it or not, every Fairfax bathroom, except for the ones near the parking lot, has two doors. One for going in and one for going out. And you might be asking, why does it matter? I can just go in either one. They're both doors. Eh, uh, well about that. Unless it's propped open, you can't manually get in through the exit door unless you push it in from the inside. It's hella confusing, but don't worry. The entrance door is usually on the outer part, the closest to the hallway itself. And that's about it for bathroom etiquette. And remember to wash your hands on the way out. Setting goals in high school is a very important part of the process. It helps every individual focus on what needs to get done in a quick and efficient way. Goals can be short-term, mid-term, and long-term. What are some examples of your short-term goals, Michelle? One short-term goal of mine is to be able to make connections between topics that I learn in my, in my classes. Another short-term goal that I have is to complete my tasks on time. Do you have any mid- or long-term goals, Lori? Well, I want to learn how to levitate. <laughs> Lori, your goals need to be realistic and reasonable. Fine, another goal of mine is to make it to medical school. That's a good one. You need to be able to organize and manage your time in order to reach your goal. How do you manage your goals and what are some steps you take to do that? Well, for my bigger goals, I like to keep track of them by writing down the steps that should be taken in order to reach that goal. I never thought of it that way. That's an amazing way to manage your goals. I should probably start doing something similar to reach my goals. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Michelle. Now, if you make sure you organize yourself and keep your goal in mind, there's no obstacle you won't be able to overcome. So can you talk about the growth mindset? Having a growth mindset is you just expose yourself to new ideas and being afraid doesn't stop you from asking questions. It's okay to be scared when you're facing something that you're not familiar with and comfortable with, but it's fine. Everyone faces that. It's okay to take risks and most of the time taking those risks end up with something really good for you. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, I want to mention that, you know, uh, being open to, uh, you know, everything or just being open in general uh, is really something, you know, not a lot of people have. I mean, I didn't have that. I, I wasn't really open to the new clubs and activities they offered at Fairfax, but um, I strongly advise for the incoming freshman that, you know, once you get, once you join, uh, okay. yeah, yeah, I, I really advise it. You should like go and explore and really sign up to anything that, you know, seems interesting. You know, who knows, you could probably be like the leader or president or whatever of that club. Uh, Harris, um, do you have any good workplace tips? Yeah, well, in my general workplace, I like to keep an environment where I am prepared to learn with a lot of paper and writing materials. Some, some like extra stuff you can have include like agendas, you know, textbooks, graph paper, you know, all that, all that sort of stuff. And it's important to keep it quiet and just remove all distractions. So yeah. like, um, do you have an example or like, like a place in our school where we can, you know, uh, work? quietly you know any places at our school uh there are open classrooms you know there's also lacer which is an after school organization that basically helps you with homework and everything and there's also greenway arts which is kind of like lacer but they also give you like scholarships and all that sort of stuff yeah don't forget about the library yeah the library is a good place too what you can do to get yourself involved here at fairfax for one thing, talk to your counselors. It's always a great idea to familiarize yourself with your counselors and the college counselor. Join clubs. Fairfax offers a variety of clubs that allow you to involve yourself with other students. For example, math club, social justice club, chess club, etc. Get a part-time job. As you grow during your high school years, there may be some urgencies to get a job. Dual enrollment. Although Fairfax offers a vast amount of APs, it's always a great idea to consider dual enrollment. Upward Bound, this is one of Fairfax's greatest resources in order to really prepare for college. They provide SAT preparation and tutoring. You can join sports. 
Fairfax offers different sports that have their own accomplishments and can allow you to create more bonds with other people. It is 1924 and World War I has just ended six years before. Lady Day by Billie Holiday topped the pop music charts and Fairfax opened its doors for the first time in September of 1924. Did you know that the Swan Auditorium is the only original structure that remains today? Students and faculty later moved into the new building in 1968. Because of the unique beauty of the rotunda and the auditorium, a public campaign was successful in saving them and was later reinforced for seismic safety. The rotunda has made landmark in the community and has been home to many famous alumni such as actress Mila Kunis, music legend Herb Alpert, and NBA star Craig Smith. Fairfax is proud to list its many scholars, judges, public officials, chefs, military heroes, business technology leaders, and Olympic athletes amongst our graduates. Now let's take a look at our lines then. Hi there. I'm Mr. Humphreys, and I am one of the Link Crew coordinators, along with Ms. Drake. And I am also uh, one of the ninth grade English teachers at Fairfax High, which means that I might be your English teacher next year. Um, I wanted to take a second and welcome all of our incoming freshmen to the first ever Fairfax virtual tour. Um, we know things have been a little weird lately, guys, and that going to school through the computer is a little strange but here's our promise to you we are going to be back and this virtual tour is made with that in mind it's to get you ready so that you know where to go and what to do on day one when we are back in the physical building okay so um sit back and enjoy your fairfax virtual tour and i will see you in august Hi, my name is Angela. And my name is Evelyn. And we're going to be talking about the offices located in the main building. The main building has all the important offices that are essential to all of the students and the staff. Once you enter the main office, there is a reception desk with two office technicians that are there. They answer phone calls, take messages, and direct people to other parts of the campus. At the beginning of the day, this is where all the staff come and sign in. Mailboxes for all of the staff members are also located here in this office. Students may leave any concerns that they may have with their teachers or other staff members in these mailboxes. Our principal, Dr. Trollinger, also has her office within this main office. The nurse's office can be found across from the main office. This office provides first aid to any students who may feel ill or become injured throughout the school day, as long as they have a pass from their teacher. A nurse is usually present within this office to help out the students. Students who need to take any medication during the day would need to come here and make arrangements with the nurse. Next is the College Center, which is located at the end of the hallway once you enter through the main entrance. This office is led by Ms. Virginia Morales, who is the college counselor. This office also contains multiple helpful resources for all students. Ms. Morales is there to help any student with college applications as well. Students who need job permits or fee waivers can find those items in this center. You must have a pass to visit this center during school hours. Access to computers and printers are also available in this office. The counseling office is located across the attendant's office, near the other front entrance of the school. This office is where all counselors are located for all grade levels. If students ever have issues with their class schedule, a teacher, a peer, or any other school-related issues, this office is the place to go. Make sure to bring a pass from your teacher if you want to talk to a counselor during class time. The counselors can also provide helpful information about everyone's pathway to graduation, including their ideal colleges. Next is the attendance office. The attendance office is located right in front of the counselor's office. Once you enter this office, you see a long counter and staff attend this area. This is where information about every student is kept for emergency purposes. This is also where parents and guardians go to with a picture ID to pick up their student during school hours. Absent notes are also dropped off here by students. Any student who is going to be enrolling at Fairfax also comes to this office to start the enrollment process. 
The Visual Arts Magnet and Police Academy Magnet Office is located across from the Special Education Office on the first floor of the main building. The Visual Arts Magnet is for students who aspire to make art, and students are required to take a magnet art class every semester. Ninth graders study drawing and design. Tenth graders study sculpture and photography. During their junior and senior years, students can take an advanced class each semester. Art is not limited to our studio art classes. Our academic teachers also assign art projects as part of their curricula. We have field trips to local museums, visits from prominent artists, and presentations or portfolio reviews by admission officers from art colleges and university art department. Police Academy Magnet is a four-year program that focuses on a career in law enforcement. Students enrolled in our program participate in four years of physical training, specialized forensic science, and law classes, as well as computer training. The Visual Arts and Police Academy Magnet Coordinator and Counselor are found in this office. The counselor provides support to the Visual Arts Magnet students who are having issues with their class schedules, a teacher or a peer, or any other school-related issues. Make sure you bring a pass from your teacher if you want to talk to someone during class time. The counselor also provides helpful information about everyone's pathway to graduation, as well as college options. The coordinator is there to help students and parents with these specific problems within the Visual Arts Magnet and Police Academy Magnet. This includes transportation, enrollment, and curriculum. The Dean Office is located between the Attendance Office and Nurse's Office. During the school day, if you are referred here by any staff member, you will come to this office. You can also come here to report any stolen items, bullying, or misbehavior. Be prepared to write down your story with as many details as you can. Next is the Parent Center. The Parent Center is located in room 120 on the first floor, right in front of the Visual Arts Magnet Office. Parent reps are here to answer questions and concerns all parents may have. Please stop by even if it's just to get a cup of coffee to learn more about what's going on during school. The Parent Center also welcomes and encourages more parent volunteers. Additionally, the Parent Center staff are happy to provide assistance regarding Fairfax High School's issues and can also provide referrals to a variety of district and community resources such as parent education, workshops, health issues, language, and college assistance. Hey Lions, my name is Izzy Datu and I will tour you guys around the upper quad and rotunda. Take a look at our upper quad. At the upper quad, club brush, the new student fair, and open house concessions will take place here. Club brush occurs during the fall, around late August to early September, and spring semester within late January. All students are able to see and sign up for the various clubs at Fairfax. The new student fair was a new event at Fairfax last year in late October, in which incoming freshmen were able to explore the various programs and clubs that we have to offer at Fairfax. During open house, ASB leadership was to have concessions in which we would sell food to the parents and students that would come in. Now, let's take a look at our lovely rotunda. On the ground level of rotunda, minor events take place, such as giving out ice cream for good attendance, Food prizes like in and out or pizza for door decoration winners, our annual Valentine's dance, and passing out the report cards to parents. One of the bigger events that take place in the lower level of Rotunda is our blood drive hosted by either UCLA or Cedar Sinai. Depending on which organization hosts the blood drive, the Rotunda is either used as a waiting room or as the room in which blood will be collected. As for the second level, ASB leadership has a daily meetings during the fourth period here. Hello and welcome to the auditorium. Placed in the center of our school, it has three entrances, one including the rotunda. Here, as a freshman, you would normally visit the auditorium before the first day of school for things like freshman orientation and other relevant assemblies you would need to prepare yourself for high school. 
Unfortunately, you are not able to do so now, but not to worry, there will be many times you will visit the auditorium. Throughout the school year, you would come to the auditorium for necessary assemblies like school policies, college preparation, and even performances. Normally, you would go to these assemblies depending on your grade level, freshmen for first period, sophomores for second, juniors for third, and seniors for fourth. Also, here's a fun fact. The auditorium is one of the only parts of our original campus that remains intact and was reinforced for seismic safety since the majority of the original campus was um, not earthquake safe. Welcome to the amphitheater. Our school's amphitheater is placed right in the center of the lower quad, a little stage with the name of our school in bold and symbols representing our magnet schools, Visual Arts Magnet and Police Academy Magnet. Here you would see many performances held by our school, such as Korean drumming, dances by Gumi Arts Alliance, and our school's rock band. Not only that, but we even had pup rallies here. DJs would perform and broadcast music for all students to hear during lunch. We even had some special guests visit us, like the actors from the Netflix series On My Block. In addition, we even have held an AP fair here, where students can learn more about the AP courses that they are planning to take in the future. This is Karen Lee, senior from Fairfax High School, and this is G90. G90 is located behind the student store to the right. It is a mini auditorium with a stage and enough seats for two classes. G90 has multiple uses as it is where we can hold class and college presentations, faculty meetings, and detention. Teen Corps also takes place in G90 several times a year. Teen Corps is a program for students that gives disciplinary proceedings based on the outcome of whatever the case is. Students can be part of the jury and can come view Teen Corps at G90 after school. Hey guys, I am a senior named Tiffany and I will be introducing you guys to our school's textbook room. Our school's textbook room is located right next to the library and this room has all the textbooks needed for your classes. This room is open during lunch and after school, so if you're missing a book, lost a book, or in need to exchange a book, you'll go here with your ID card. On the orientation day, this will be one of the stations you will head to to get your textbooks. So if you have any problems related with your book for your classes, head straight to this room. I'll be also introducing you guys to our school's library. Our library is located right left of the textbook room and it is open during nutrition and lunch. Our library has a wide range of different books and holds computers for students to use. You will need your ID cards to borrow the books and there will be a fine if there is any sort of damage on the book or the book is returned late. The library room is also used for school meetings and testings. Also, if you need to print anything, you can go to the library. Always remember to stay quiet in the library. Hey guys, my name is Jean. And I'm Sarah. We're both seniors and we'll be talking about lunch, everyone's favorite time of day. Lunch is usually after fourth period, except on Tuesdays, it's after fifth period. It sounds confusing at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Um, uh, excuse me? Where can I eat lunch? Well, there are many different places on campus where you can eat. The covered lunch area is where most students sit, and it's conveniently located right next to the cafeteria. The indoor cafeteria is another place you can eat, and there are also a few tables outside near the library, amphitheater, and 500 building. Do I have to bring my own lunch every day? You can bring packed lunch, but make sure to submit your meal applications to see whether you qualify for free or reduced lunch. I know the lunches provided by LAUSD aren't always appealing, but most of them actually taste pretty good. My personal favorite are the cheeseburger and waffle fries. If you forget your lunch pen, you can always go to the cafeteria lady and ask by giving your student ID. What do I do if I don't have friends to eat lunch with since it's my first day? It's going to be everyone's first day since you're a freshman, so chances are you guys will all be thinking the same thing. You might want to get to know people in your earlier classes and agree to sit together, but you're also welcome to sit with any lead crew leaders. We're all very friendly. What can we do on days we don't want to eat the school lunch, but we're still hungry? Well, don't worry. We have a student store. Our student store sells a variety of healthy snacks. They only accept cash and they're not expensive at all. Are the lines for the student store long? Our student store is so famous that the lines may be long sometimes. If that happens to be the case, you can use the vending machine to the side of the student store. If your favorite snack is sold out, I would highly recommend checking the vending machines. 
Where can I buy PE clothes? On the side of the student store, there's another store that sells our school merchandise. There you can reload your tap card for $24 and also buy your PE clothes. If you plan on taking AP exams, you can also pay for them at the same location. I think that's it for us. Bye! Toodles! <laughs> My name is Zulimi Palacios. My partner is Tani Beth Garcia. Here at Fairfax, we have many sports you might be interested in. For example, track and field, baseball, softball, basketball, football, cross country, soccer, volleyball, and golf. Every student is mandated to take two years of PE. We have boys and girls locker room where you change for PE and sports. You are required to wear the PE uniform, which you can purchase at the student store. You will be given a locker to store your personal items. It is not safe to leave your personal belongings outside or on top of the lockers. And please do not share your combination with anyone. We start here in the boys baseball and girls softball field. These teams practice here every sixth period and after school. It's a very enjoyable time. Our tennis courts are located next to the softball field in which sometimes is used by PE teachers for PE. And our golf team practices around the tennis courts and softball field. Here at the block top is where you will be coming for your physical education class. We have basketball courts which most students like using during lunch or even sometimes after school. But we also have the inside gyms where basketball players and volleyball players practice. This is our football field along with the track. Many people come to see our varsity ones because those are a big deal. We have the football field which may be used to exercise. And not only is it a football field but a soccer field as well where both girls and boys soccer team practice on around the field we have the track where cross country and track and field practice and have their tournaments last but not least the gym this is where volleyball girls and boys and basketball girls and boys practice the gym is where we have the games which get intense at times all of these areas are used during the school year if your pe teacher chooses to take their class there Hi, my name is Pamela and I am an upcoming senior in Fairfax High School. In Fairfax, during the first two years of high school, students will most likely be taking typical PE courses or in other cases, you can choose to do a sport. Your PE teacher or your sports coach will choose to take your PE class or your team to Fairfax's new renovated state-of-the-art weight room found just around the corner of the 500 building. Here in the weight room, students are given the chance to use many of Fairfax's new and updated equipment for your workout use, and it's available and open for students of any grade. Fairfax High School is also partnered with the Greenway Arts Alliance, found on the second floor of the 500 building. Greenway offers professional and artistic help for students interested in production and theater, whether it be during school or after school. Greenway supports students with all kinds of endeavors as well as offering free of charge art production classes for any students interested. Fairfax provides many activities and sources for students in grades 9 through 12. They serve an after school program that helps students expand their learning and get help with their everyday classes. They also provide snacks for students who stay after school. The program is from 3 to 6 p.m. Monday through Fridays in room 504 near the red tables. The classes they provide are Korean drumming, tutoring, dance classes, and so much more. For more information, visit laserstars.org. Thank you. The Student Support Center is located in room 108 on the first floor across from the elevator. Students are encouraged to come visit whenever they feel overwhelmed and need someone to talk to to face their problems with a plan. Ginkgo is our school psychiatric worker who helps students by providing individual and group resources for mental health. Ms. LaBrew helps students find solutions to problems that may be affecting the students at home. These resources are available for every Fairfax student and we encourage you to take advantage of them. The Special Education Office, also known as the Plaza, is located next to the Parent Center across from the Magnet Office. Students and parents visit this office when IEPs are conducted or if they have any concerns about the services students are receiving. There is an elevator in the main building for students, staffs, and parents with physical disabilities. Students must present a doctor's note and check out an elevator key daily with the main office. All other students must use the stairs. Are you interested in taking advanced placement courses? AP courses are classes you can take in which you can receive college credit. 
as long as you do well on the AP exam. Fairfax offers 20 AP courses that branch out into all subjects. For math, we offer AP Statistics, AP Calculus AB, and AP Calculus BC. For English, we have AP English Language and Composition, and AP English Literature and Composition. For Science, we have AP Biology, AP Physics 1AB, and AP Physics C, Electricity and Magnetism. For Social Science, we offer AP Human Geography, AP World History, AP United States History, AP United States Government and Politics, AP Psychology, and AP Macroeconomics. For Foreign Language, we have AP Spanish Language and Composition, and AP Spanish Literature and Composition. For Art, we offer AP Studio Art, 2D Design, and AP Studio Art Drawing. Since you guys are freshmen, the only APs you guys can take are AP Human Geography and AP Biology. Keep in mind that the AP curriculum is more rigorous than our regular and honors classes. However, they are fun and help you get ahead in your education. Fairfax means to me a place of learning where everyone can grow their intelligence and go above and beyond. Fairfax is caring. Loving. To me, Fairfax is a place of many opportunities. The place where I begin my future. Fairfax means the beginning of where I find all my passion. It's, it's, a, it's an opportunity to become a better person. It's given me opportunities that I know will prepare me for my career. Fairfax means home. Fairfax High School's theater class. To me, Fairfax means um, building new experiences and everlasting friendships. 